Well, 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 everybody. Hello and welcome back to The Domain. You join me in, uh, well, by a cabin in the middle of a wood um, in northern Minnesota. This is not exactly the video I planned to release for the end of Mystery Week, but it's been a very whirlwind week, month, kind of year, and I'm trying to just take things as they come. Currently, uh, yeah, at a cabin with very limited service, but I thought I'd still push forward and release this video because I wanted to cap off the end of Mystery Week so I could move forward with some new exciting projects for the rest of the month. I do want to give a quick shout out at the beginning of this to Tower of Ultimate Doom, Brian Johnson. This whole Mystery Week was your idea and it's actually been a lot of fun. It's been a great way for the community to collab together. And although my commitment to this Mystery Week hasn't been 100% because I've been so busy, I hope this is at least a tester of what we can do in the future. And uh, yeah, if you guys watching this want to suggest any kind kind of special weeks, any themed weeks. We've had Flood Week, we've had Mystery Week. What would you like to see next? Let me know in the comments down below. So basically, uh, I'm gonna review all of the different videos that have come out for Mystery Week, and then I'm also going to review my mystery product for the end of this week. And at the end, I got some extra thank yous and announcements to make, because this is, uh, yeah, again, just a crazy whirlwind of a couple of weeks. So at the end of Mystery Week now, I guess we're uh, technically on day eight. We've had collaborations from Toro of Ultimate Doom, Demarcation Media, El Block Dale Saver, Mega Gabby, and Mega Chief Constructs Creator. And all of them have produced mystery reviews, mystery videos centered around Mega Constructs. You don't know what the video is based on the title and thumbnail, but when you click on it, you've got a mystery review from a content creator. And honestly, it's been really great. I've really enjoyed watching some of my favorite content creators on this platform, but also going back to some nostalgic set reviews of sets that I almost forgot uh, existed, like the UNSC Spade Rush. So Monday started with myself, The Domain. I did a review of two, two reviews, actually, the Julem Dharma Ghost and the Emil Mongoose. Two of my very favorite cheap, low-budget sets, and actually a very easy way to get those characters. And Tuesday was on to Toa of Ultimate Doom with a review of the Promethean Warriors fire team. This is a fire team that I've only, uh, I actually got it in my latest haul, but I immediately sold it. It's a really nice set, and it comes with some great silver Prometheans. I always like when fire teams are color-coordinated, so this is right up my alley. On Wednesday, Demarcation Media surprised me, actually, with a review and unboxing of a Yap Yep, the Destroyer. I found it at a Dollar General for a really great price. And it's kind of funny because th this random figure is now actually worth quite a lot, which is, it's just, it, it's hilarious that it's just this random grunt with a crown and some funny uh, painting, uh, printed detailing on his chest. But it's actually worth a lot of money now, especially with the Yappening event coming to Halo Infinite very soon. Very amusing timing to me. Thursday saw El Block Del Saver's review of the Shadow Convoy. Now this set is, I mean, talk about resale value. This set is worth a lot of money nowadays. It comes with some excellent characters and the shadow. I've always enjoyed the vehicle and it was great to see this review. I remember the first time I bought that set from a UK Toys R Us. That was, that that review of all of them probably hit the nostalgia train the most. So yeah, El Block Del Saver, a really great Spanish speaking YouTube channel. Check them out. On Friday, Mega Gabby did a review of the Covenant Seraph and uh, you know, as he does, he reviewed it in uh, well, on his diorama, and then also discussed how he could use it in a diorama. Leading into the weekend, we had reviews on Saturday from Demarcation Media and Toa of Ultimate Doom. Toa did a UNSC Spade Rush review, yeah, again, a set I just forgot existed, and Demarcation Media did a set review of a Call of Duty set that I've never even heard of, Firebreak Weapon Crate. Yeah, uh, he had some good things to say about it, apart from the fact that the production image was actually slightly different to the actual figure produced, but still, very good reviews. And to finish off the week, Mega Chief Constructs Creator did a review of the ODST Covenant Invasion. It's just such a legacy set with two insanely cool vehicles, gorgeous paint apps, and gorgeous uh, color coordination between the figures and the vehicles. One of my all-time favorites as well. I do also want to give a shout out to the YouTuber CyberPika27. They did a review of the 20th character pack for Mystery Week, and uh, it's a really fun review. You should definitely check it out. I've actually got all of these reviews in a playlist, which will be the pinned comment of the live chat and the comment section, so please do make sure to check out these content creators. You know, Mystery Mystery Week is about collaborations in the community, but it's also about bigging up everybody. So if you could take a minute to check out that playlist and subscribe to whoever uploaded videos on Mystery Week, that would be really great. A really cool way to just spread the love in the community. So you're probably wondering what my mystery review is. I've got in front of me two uh, very interesting sets, um, kind of. It, it's a weird thing to describe. I'm going to flip the camera and show you what I'm talking about. This is uh, something really interesting. There we go. I had to flip the camera around so I can actually see what I'm doing here. 
So in front of me, I've got one of the legacy figures from Halo Mega Bloks, the UNSC Cyan Spartan. This thing released in 2010 and was used to publicize the launch of Halo Mega Bloks. I see it as an iconic milestone in Mega's development, and they produced three different characters, the Cyan Spartan, the Steel Spartan, and the even more legendary Teal Spartan. And I'll make a video going into detail about how these were distributed in the future, the Cyan Spartan was the most common by far and was given out at a lot of events like PAX or Comic Cons. And actually for Blocks Fest, the original gaming convention that I ran back in England centered around Halo Mega Blocks, every one of the original hundred attendees got this Cyan Spartan. What's interesting about this is, this is one of my original Cyan Spartans that I've had for a long time. Recently, I bought some Cyan Spartans off eBay and look at that a slight color variation. I don't know whether the colors are actually different inside here. I've not looked yet and I thought I'd save this little reveal for the end of Mystery Week. I personally don't think they're going to be any different uh, in terms of color. I think they'll be exactly the same. But there are some noticeable differences between the two. For example, they both have different production codes. You, so you find production codes on things like blind bags as well. And on the back, different product images. Now they both have the same release window, 2010. This is a different sort of distributor logo with a lot of different languages. Perhaps this was distributed in America only and then they put it across the whole world. So you'll find that almost all of these sets are replicated on both packagings. The Arctic Wolverine, Covenant Wraith, we've got the Arctic Rocket Hog versus Ghost, the UNSC Gremlin, the Brute Chopper, and the Mongoose versus Turret. But the only set that's been added is the UNSC Short Sword. That tells me that this is a fall 2010 lineup and a spring 2010 lineup. Just interesting that they had the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently tear these open and I'm going to see if the figure is in any way different. Again, I don't expect it to be, but it's still going to be a nice way to review this original Cyan Spartan because it is like a legacy product. It, it's what kickstarted Mega. So it's really nice to go back, especially in Mystery Week, and look at kind of where it all started. So we tear open this ancient seal, <laughs> 12 years old. There we are, okay. So this is the brighter version. This one does look quite bright, but I mean, so do all of them really. Um, so let's have a look at that to begin with. Two Magnums, a Spartan, and that green brick. Let's see if the colors are any different between the two. Okay, let's see. Can you tell me the difference? The answer is absolutely no. <laughs> these are exactly the same. And you can still get these for pretty cheap on uh, eBay. There's been some recent uh, Mattel or Mega Constructs warehouse sales. And I think a lot of pallets of these were sold. So you can actually get them for a good price. And you get this lovely, oh, look at that. Wow. The original Mega Blocks Iron Man sets. That's hilarious. And Dragon's Universe. Uh, the JPEGs are such low quality, man. What, what on earth? That's crazy. I remember the first time I ever got a Mega Bloks Magnum. I thought it was the coolest thing. Dual wheeled gray Magnums that match his undersuit. And really these figures just excelled at washes. Like all that dark sort of blue, just gray black leaking into the corners, the crevasses of the armor. One of the things Mega was always trying to show off when they started the Halo license line was their camo bricks. You can see it advertised on the back of most of their packaging. And you can see why, it is a, it is a really nice uh, camo brick that runs different shades of green all the way through. It seems speedboats are getting out on the water now and the wind's picking up and I can hear a, a weed whacker somewhere. So I'm probably gonna sign off this video. But I just wanted to uh, show you guys, you know, pretty much what started it all. And uh, a really nostalgic thing for me because they were distributed at one of my events and I've seen so, so many. I have a little glass display cabinet at home with about six of them in. Just really great, man. Um, I absolutely love the OG Mega Bloks. And uh, in terms of original Spartans, which there are so, so many in so, so many colors, I think this one is the king, aside from the steel and teal as well. If you would like to know more about how the steel and teal were originally distributed, let me know. I'd love to make a video. Thank you for supporting content creators like Mega Gabby, El Blockdale Saver, Mega Chief, Toe of Ultimate Doom, Demarcation Media. It's been a really fun week. And although I've not been as active as I wanted to, I've still connected with the community in a lot of really beautiful ways. So shout out to you all. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there, folks. I'm going to be heading to Atlanta, Georgia in just a few days time. And from there, New York, 
York, Philadelphia, possibly Miami. I'm gonna do a little bit of sightseeing, ready for October, where I'm going to HCS Worlds, the Halo Championship Series final in Seattle. It's gonna honestly be a crazy couple of months, and a big shout out as well to my new YouTube channel, Halo Hot Takes. That's where a lot of my content will be when I go to the Halo Championship Series final. See you next time, folks. The Domain is signing off.